Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. I thought I'd give you a little update on the little shrimp breeding tank that we set up a couple of weeks ago. And we are inundated with babies at the moment. If you can look amongst the gravel, you see little red dots all over the place. They've dropped lots and lots of babies. There's some that are quite clear still. Some of them are quite red. They're on top of the filters there. They're on the back of the glass. They're on the sides of the aquarium. They're absolutely everywhere. They're in amongst that little sub tang tree there as well they're absolutely all over the place which is fantastic now when you when these little guys first hatch out okay if you didn't know i know a lot of you guys are experienced out there in different things but they don't move too far from where they're actually where they actually hatch and where they come out and the mum or they hatch out and the mum releases them out so it's very important that you get some of this stuff called biozyme or another thing called Gen Chem Polytase, okay? That's Gen Chem Polytase. I haven't got a bag at the moment. I've just recently run out, but I've got to get another one. But I've got some of this biozyme, which is pretty much the same thing. So a mixture of different ingredients there. As you can see on the packet, okay? And that's how much you add for the adults and for the babies. Half a spoon, twice a day for 100 litres, okay, of water. I probably normally would half that. Otherwise, you can end up with a bit of pollution in the water. So you could half that, just stir it up, stir it in a little bit of tank water first in a little tub and then empty it, disperse it over the top. And if you don't like cloudy water, I suggest you do it in the evening before you start to, uh, before you go to bed really. Um, and that way they can feed on it early in the morning and for the rest of the evening and then uh, they will feed on it at night as well, okay? And then you'll have a nice crystal clear aquarium in the morning when everything's settled down. But everything's doing really well here. Like I said, we only took a few out. Some of the females have already shed again, as you can see there's some bits of shed there where they've got a bit of molt, sorry, there's another molt in the back there in the centre of the screen as well. And quite a few of the mums which are hiding up in the tree there, with this damn camera would focus. I've got berries again, there's another one over there, she's full of berries as well. So we're going to have quite a few, but like I said it's very important that you feed them this guys, okay? Keep your water changes regular. I do about 10% in this once every couple of weeks. That's all I do. I don't go crazy with water changes because then that can upset your parameters a little bit more. But these, I've been breeding these for a long, long time now and they're quite hardy to big water changes and everything. But if you buy them from a shop, they've obviously come from a factory somewhere where they've been mass bred and they'll be used to their conditions. And sometimes you can, uh, if you don't acclimate them properly, you're going to lose them quite easily. But once you get a little strain going of your own, like I did here, keep cherry picking as it were, the best and the nicest, reddest ones from the actual group that you've got, they're going to produce you some nice, some nice little babies as well, like we've got up on top of there, look at that. All nicely tucking into their, into their breakfast. Now another thing you can feed them as well guys is bee pollen, okay, that's another thing, you can buy it on eBay or from different shops, different uh, different outlets. Have a look online, and uh, I've got some here I can show you in a minute. Okay, guys, that's what it looks like in the lid of the pot. Little bags of bee pollen. Okay, brilliant stuff. And you and it and it. I'll, I'll put it in the tank now. You'll see it go down. That's how big it is in pot size of my hands. And it will float, but then it will slowly sink and leave a trail when it goes down. There you go, you can see it all floating away there, all dispersing, little tiny bits. Now this is perfect, you know, little little depth charges going down, look at that. And they'll hit the bottom, break up into micro pieces, and these little guys will be on it in no time at all. They slowly go down at different rates, look at that. I love watching this stuff go down. And as you can see, that the shrimp already whizzing around in the cloud, very, very happy. To have some of that and it will stick everywhere all over the tank and the babies will find it that little guy's creeping his way along picking some bits up now i find the uh, the best way to keep cherry shrimps and most shrimps is not to be too too clean with them okay too much messing around in the tank playing with water chemistry all that kind of stuff you're just going to mess these things up. I've bred all kinds from the top of the range shrimps right the way down to these little cherry shrimps. And um, to be honest with you, if you're going to start off these, 
are the best ones to start with when you do start. They're the most forgiving. Any of the neo Caradina species really, you get the pumpkins, the, the blues, oh, they're all kinds. The, the Sakuras, yellow Sakuras, I used to breed those. Bred thousands and thousands of those over the years. If you want to pop back and look at some of my other videos, you'll, um, you'll see me, how I bred those, how I set up various tanks. Different foods are made for them, which are free of charge or from nature, so go back and check those out if you're new to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, thank you very much for subscribing. Lovely to have you aboard. I've had quite a few recently. And I've also had a few people saying that they've been, that YouTube has actually um, unsubscribed them from my channel for some reason. And I've quite a few of them saying they've been waiting for updates and um, and they haven't received them. And then they've realised that they weren't even subscribed and they were subscribed. They hadn't unsubscribed and they reckon that, uh, that YouTube's doing this. So I'm not sure what's going on. We all know it's a very fickle place, um, YouTube, where some people can do absolutely nothing at all and get millions of subscribers and millions of views for doing little, little work. And then other channels can be absolutely spot on, really take the time and, you know, they, they, they don't get recognised at all. And it's just one of those things with algorithms. If you're lucky enough with the algorithms, you'll be picked out and... Um, I know lots and lots of smaller channels which are absolutely amazing camera work, time and effort that they put in and they're just not recognised and it's very very sad that they're not recognised really. I mean I'm at 40,000 subs nearly and I've been at this game a few years and it's taken me quite a long time to get 40,000 subscribers so, but in a way I'm not glad I'm inundated with subscribers and things because at 40,000 I get so many questions at now how I'd get round to them all with that kind of amount of subscribers, I'll never know how uh, these guys do it. I think a lot of people they just ignore people because that's the only choice they've got really when it comes to that that many. But um, I'm quite happy where I am. But if you have been unsubscribed or check, just to make sure you are still subscribed. And if you're not, hit the old subscribe button. I'd love to have you aboard. You know that. And I'm not being awful to the people that have made it either. I mean, good luck to you guys. There's some guys out there that have really made a good effort. And they deserve the subscribers and the following that they've got also. Look at that. Happy days. I think I'll leave you with a little bit of music. Some baby close-up shrimp footage.
And as always, you're all stars. I love you loads. Take care. And I'll see you on the next edition of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now.